We have breaking news this hour. President Trump unveiling national security strategy that focuses on trade. Eamon Javers, live, live at the White House with the headlines. Eamon. Yeah, Brian, that's right. Just within the past five minutes, the White House has posted the full new national security strategy document from uh, the Trump administration. This is the first crack that the Trump administration has had at crafting one of these. Remember, uh, presidents use these from time to time to sort of lay out their vision of the world and America's role in it. The last one was from President Obama back in 2015. He had done one uh, in 2010 as well. So these are sort of periodic documents created uh, by uh, administrations. This one is divided divided into four key parts here. The number one element here is defending the homeland, American people, and the American way of life, but also targeting American prosperity. And this is going to be an economics and trade-focused document as much as a national security document. It's advancing American influence and peace through strength, the White House says. The White House, uh, an official here, also telling me that this is very much about those economic elements. It's everything he's been saying on trade and industrial policy, but in the language of a strategy document. A White House official told me this week that national security strategy will say that China and Russia challenge American power, influence, and interests, attempting to erode American security and prosperity. So the president is going to speak here in about an hour's time. We'll carry that live. Watch for the language in there around Russia, because over the weekend we saw some very cooperative language between the United States and Russia. Vladimir Putin actually issuing a statement praising the Central Intelligence Agency, which he doesn't often like to do for some cooperation on an anti-terrorism matter. The president has been very favorable, favorably disposed toward Vladimir Putin, but we expect that some of the language here will be critical of Russia. So watch for how the president balances those two competing imperatives, Brian. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.